<laughs> right, okay, we're only starting 40 minutes late. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, right. Long live the queen. Long live the magical girl. I wonder, does she actually get that costume? But anyway, let's start this again. Because, yeah, I'm a glutton for punishment. Put the sound on so you can hear, um, feel the pain as well. Let's give this a go. All right. Jocelyn? I've just noticed the name. Jocelyn! <sighs> and his daughter, Bob. Right, Jocelyn, King Dowager, Duke of Calories. Okay, um, he's a short person. He's a low calories. We're almost home. The room is the way you left it. And for the third time, a mess. Eh. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. Oh yeah, I think it'd be absolutely me. And anyone who actually knows what it looked like is probably really, really nauseous right now. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't, but sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. No pressure. Sigh. Oh, of course Ellen's a princess. What did you expect otherwise? I'll be here to guide you into your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Mmm, maids. So, alright, okay, I'm not gonna bother with the, uh... Oh, actually, okay, this, this is a live stream, so let's ask you guys. Yes or no, do you want to see the tutorial? No, no. First five we're going to count. So one another three answers. Three. Okay, that's a majority. Okay, I've played this before. Believe me, I've played this before. Up to about this point. Alright, so. She has... No skills whatsoever. But then again, she's royalty. So, okay, that's a bit uh, near the knuckle there. Okay, so... What we need to do is build up these skills during the week and then there's there's various bits and pieces of storyline to move on. And how well she does at these things depends on her mood. She's a little bit afraid, she's very depressed, but she's middle of the road in the willful and pressured um, stages. So because she's so depressed, if we go back to the skills, um, expression is increased by the fact that she's depressed, as is animal handling, presumably so she can hug the dogs or something like that. Whereas conversation is um, drastically lowered by someone who's, uh, by her being depressed, which I can quite understand, to be honest with you. Yeah, so that's how we're going to have to work out her classes. Um, and hopefully get the things we need to win the game. Outfits boarding school uniform is the only one and log menu we'll ignore for now but um, so what we need to do uh, to start off with is work out what she's going to do for the day and given the fact that she's good at animal handling and expression today that seems like good places to start really isn't it and given the people watching we'll have a look at the, we'll, we'll do classes about dogs so we will start off with expression and we will carry on in the afternoon to animal handling Dogs and let's play an instrument. If anyone thinks that we should be trying something, do feel free for you to shout out, and we will um, just you know sort of pick up the, po the people's opinions and maybe do a couple of polls, see how we go, and then when we all die horribly, it's nobody's import in particular, especially not mine. You tap out chiming dyads on the glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm, and getting everyone in the castle to hate you. You visit the kennels and learn out the different breeds of dogs. Here's a hairy dog, here's a not very hairy dog, here's a dog with three legs. I think that's more a mistake than a breed. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? 
Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yes, Mummy said we'll be here all month. That's my Laura voice, by the way. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Okay, so... Now it's the weekend, we have a chance to do a few bits and pieces. We can visit various places in the castle, or you know, try to sneak out altogether. And doing so will change our emotional state. Or there's these question mark ones, which might have and might not. So Laura should do loads more voices. She's getting so much better at it. And it's really, really great fun doing Laura, uh, doing these things with Laura. Okay, so right, we're going to visit Charlotte, Lady Merva. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is when my mother dies. Or something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. So, right, how's that changed her mood? Uh, oh, she's less depressed, so, you know, she's a neck and neck race between afraid and depressed. And these haven't changed at all. So, how does that change her. Um, her what's it? Okay, so she's, you know, she's now good at agility and faith. So. That's probably going to be the place to go into. I think Laura's a bit busy this evening. She said she's only going to have a chance to top, drop in for a few minutes. But if she does turn up later on, then, uh, well, perhaps we can invite her along. And if April turns up, the same thing. Okay, so... Right, so we can do... Agility and Faith. Okay, so Agility and Faith are our choices this time, I think. So let's put some classes in those so agility and faith so agility can be dance reflexes or flexibility i think everyone wants a princess to be flexible and divination why not divination why not divination yeah. cough reflex reflex okay everyone's saying reflexes okay all right so there we go Ooh, that one went up, huh? Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches. Ooh, bad touch. Without triggering fear or faster breathing. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Not possibly those by post, but there you go. Cannot rely, cannot stick with what she has a bonus to. This is true, but at the moment, it doesn't really matter unless somebody knows something we should really be practicing. Besides, if we die horribly, we die horribly. What's that commotion outside, Father? What's going on? Who's this? Oh, right, okay. I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because it's you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a Lumen, as was she, and like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life as necessary to protect our domain. Get your presence up and court manners. Can't stick with what she has a bonus to. It's catching. Think. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me. Your mother trusted me. And I have much to teach you. Okay, all right. Send her away, arrest her, or let her stay. What do you guys think?
bit late looks dapper in a tux. Should introduce you guys to uh to you to Team Tuxedo then I suppose. Alright, two for letter stay, first five count, three to stay. Okay, so we're gonna let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. You can't tell me what to do, I'm the queen. She stays. As you wish, idiot. Right, so now we've finished studying, what would you do for the weekend? So we can visit Juliana, Duchess of Usol. Um, we can visit Charlotte, Lady Merva. We can visit the f our father, or we can do something that changes our mood. Um, actually, don't really care. Sorry, bit late. Um, so I think visiting the Duchess wouldn't be a bad idea, to be totally honest with you. I don't really care much about the stats at the moment, so let's actually advance the story a touch then. Yeah, okay. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magic crystal. Only one of them, and we all share it. Once you're bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have crystal? Of course. She th holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. A number of times I've reached out towards boobs and they've dissolved into nothing. It's not worth thinking about. <laughs> it belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. Well, that can be arranged, bitch. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Okay, so the plot thickens. Daddy Dearest is keeping secrets from us. Alright, so let's have a look at our skills. Okay, you guys have got a couple of seconds to um, to shout out what you'd like us to do. Or I'm going to go for agility and faith. So presence is something that Fat Frog keeps on shouting about. Uh, where is that? Presence. That's Royal Demeanor. So that's a minus one. Is that really what we want to do here? Um, law. Again, why are you guys picking the ones that she's bad at at the moment? Where is Law? Uh, divination. Okay, so all right. So she's got plus one, five, five on that. Uh, okay, so presence and law. We're gonna do presence and law. Uh, if I can remember where presence is, it's royal demeanor. So royal demeanor. And where was the other one? Faith. So we'll do law and we'll do presence. There we go. Doesn't she need agility for recent... Recent what's? Right, done! Yay, I'm glad we went for that one. You are too afraid to focus properly on this subject right now. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child. Upon the Lumen's tragic demise, at the bottom of the stairs, the child is at the top. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He can barely hear me. He loves me. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursel rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. Not at you, at your feet. Princess, do not move. So, hold still or look down. Okay, be stupidly trusting or be stupidly curious. What do you guys think? Alright, look down. Stupidly Curious is winning out here. Come on, another two. 
Alright, so Look Down has got the votes. You look down at where her sword is pointing. There is a snake in the grass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Naughty! Too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. I've forgotten what the voice I used for her. What why, What is going on out here? Your daughter has been bitten by a milk viper. They are poisonous. Get a herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I am sorry. I don't feel good. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. Right, so we've lost a place to visit. So we can visit the Duchess, we can visit our father, we can attend court, which basically is going to really depress us. Fat Frog wants us to become yielding. I, I think there's just some fantasies going on there, to be totally honest with you. We can play with toys, we can walk in the gardens. Yielding is the way to go. Is there a way of being yielding without... Oh, I'm sorry, I've got to turn this music down. Um, preferences. Music volume. Oh, great. Okay, so, so much for sliders. Alright. Okay. Um, trade. Playing with toys gives us a little bit of yielding, a little bit of yielding, and a little bit of cheerful. Um... Let's do that. That might cheer her up a little bit. There we go. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favourite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. Uh, it looks like she's just walked in with her father and one of the maids, doesn't it? What is her mood at the moment? Okay, so... She's a little bit ronery, but she's cheering up, but she's still afraid. Perhaps we should do something about that afraid. See you, Shizzy! Thank you! Alright, so we're still good at agility and faith. And... Well, I'm not doing presence again because we, we, that was basically a waste of time. We can do lore if you guys want. No, I'm not doing presence. Um, uh, economics... Um, yeah, I suppose that's a fairly neutral one. Uh, okay. Alright, economics it is then. Nobody else is shouting out any suggestions. So, economics... We'll do... Okay, uh, we'll do accounting, there we go. Alright. You brush up on basic mathematics with the help of an abacus. First of all, you need to find an abacus, then you need to find someone who remembers how to use an abacus, but after that, it goes swimmingly. Long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single Witch King until a rival line of Lumens challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly that even now, no plants will grow. So it looks like we're actually getting into the lore quite fast. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zaha and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But Tessera's poison failed, but her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out all right. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Yeah, I kind of read that between the lines as well. Yes, okay. 
I think we should go and visit her father and see if we can get the crystal. Uh, we'll do court next time, okay? Um, is there actually, is there anything that... Minus one afraid. I suppose we could do a little bit of that, but no, let's see this so far. Let's move the story forward ahead. Dad, what happened to Mum's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but now you're still a child. Ah. Don't think Daddy likes the idea of magic somehow. Right. Okay, we need peasants to get the crystal. Sorry, presents to get the crystal. So let's do that. And... Yeah, I think we've got a better, better of a chance now. Um, what's economics like? Um, uh, economics, medicine, court manners. Let's see what they all look like. Medicine is fairly normal. Court manners is fairly... I get the feeling court manners is actually going to be a very useful one for her. So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to do presence and court manners. So, vile demeanor, presence, and conversation, court manners. Let's do that. You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Young as you are, you're a queen of the blood. Blood, blood. You are your mother's daughter. You're possibly your father's daughter as well. You are a force to be reckoned with. Ice right, so in the afternoon, you review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. One of the maids approaches for your attention. <laughs> mm. My lady, courtiers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Tallahassee. Well, I suppose it could be Tallahassee, which would be even more confusing. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Condolences for the death of. Deeply regret. Best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. I might not be. I, I, we we got one right. We passed a test. It might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public, though. People might think it meant something. So right. Okay. The game is telling us not to wear it. What do you guys think? And welcome back, bit late. Okay, so... Alright, okay, so, right, I think basically it's narrow, but it's on the side of don't wear it, so let's not wear it. So there you go, plus one reading, yielding fat frog, okay, makes you feel happier. It's important to maintain the proper image. Okay, so... Anyone got a particular thing they want to do? Oh yes, I was going to attend court, wasn't I? So let's attend court. Sitting in on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father, and it may be important for your future. Right. Oh dear, it, it, it actually looks like she's being ainly probed just this moment. That's kind of scary, really, isn't it? Oh, wrong one. Mood. Okay, so she's still very afraid, she's more depressed and more yielding, and not very ronery, which is good. Okay, so we'll do presence again, and court manners, okay, we'll do court manners. Oh, no change there, let's do this, there we go. 
Don't know why I listen to you guys. You're too afraid to properly focus on this subject right now. As the person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at a formal event unless you give them permission, and no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to... You are intended to... Rec uh, English would be nice. If they do, you're expected to recognize the insult. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to you guys because then you can't blame me when this goes horribly wrong. As you're walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Russell. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice... That seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak, their breasts heaving, their lips rubbing against one another. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment you notice something unusual. It looks like somebody left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was it a servant? A thief? Or an assassin. Go on, guys. Climb up, look over the head, call the guards, or run and hide. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm generally taking there. People want me to call the guards. Let's go and give that a go. Call them guards. Them there guards. Right. Guards. Them there guards. By the time the response is organized and directed to the area behind the palace, there's no sign of any intruder. You wonder if you were only imagining it. Okay, um... We can visit Juliana, we can visit a father, or we can do this stuff, and I quite frankly, if you want me to do presents, we're going to have to get rid of Afraid. And I'm not seeing much that does minus Afraid, apart from attending service. So that is what we're going to do, guys, okay? You attend services in the Castle Grove, letting the peace of the ritual come. Your heart. <sighs> Just looks miserable now. Okay, so her mood is less afraid, fairly depressed, fairly yielding, not very ronery. So, let's have a look at the skills. Right, presence is looking a bit better. So we could do that as you guys seem to want. Um... Animal handling is looking really good. As is expression. So... What should we do? What do you guys do? Uh, if the stats rank from left to right, so if two match, the one on the left it counts. And hug the dogs. Yes, we're fully aware of that fact, Gurley, and Fat Frog. We, 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 we do know this fact, but there's we needed to get rid of some other stats as well. Okay, so... Any classes that you guys want to do, or I'm just going to pick some myself? Uh, so, Divination is one that's being requested. Intrigue, Dogs, Medicine... Um, where's Intrigue? Where's Intrigue? Intrigue is here. Okay. <laughs> Kellyanne, what's her face? I barely know what's going on. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do Intrigue and I'm going to do Dogs. Just because I feel like it. Classes, so... Intrigue and Animal Handling. Dogs... And let's do foreign intelligence. There we go. Let's see what how that helps us. It, 
if we're dead, then we're dead. It hardly matters. You know, it's like we can play the game again, or I can do a live stream of it later on, or something like that. But it's you know, if we're having fun doing this. Who particularly cares whether we win or lose? The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Tallahassee. And indeed, don't mind someone who lurks behind you sniffing your hair. Okay. You learn the standard commands for working with trained dogs and retrievers. Funny enough, they're exactly the same as your commands for tra trained uh, for dealing with um, trained maids and courtiers. 